At the heart of the International Telecommunication Union's World Radio Communication Seminar 2010 was a treaty. The ITU's radio regulations governs the international management of the radio spectrum. And the seminar's aim was to give national authorities a detailed guide to what the treaty really means for them. needed to train people in all the administrations in order to be able to understand the purpose and the objectives of this treaty, but also to be very familiar in the application of this complex treaty because it involves not only legal aspects, but also uh, very complex technical aspects. This is vital know-how because, among other things, radio regulations allocates frequency bands. Without the treaty, the same frequencies could be allotted to different groups and organisations. Communication would be reduced to an incomprehensible hubbub. So if people know the procedures radio regulation, you can use this effective use of this uh, spectrum resources uh, very efficiently. It will not be any interference to any other administrations. Spectrum doesn't have borders and this place is, is a good one for uh, uh, finding out more information, how to deal with uh, spectrum management more uh, efficiently. That's why we need the seminar, yeah, because uh, Every, every now and then there are changes and we need, we need to know them to work properly. Yeah. For radio communications regulators, the ITU's seminar is giving important lessons in how best to manage what is becoming a precious natural resource, the radio communications spectrum. And if you think that broadcasters and telecoms companies are both vying with each other to get the best parts of the spectrum, then you realise that the job of the regulator is more important than ever. Some parts of the spectrum are highly prized because they carry more information further. Regulators juggle the competing claims on these sweet spots. To help them, the ITU has put together the Spectrum Management System for developing countries, giving countries expertise they would previously have to look elsewhere for. The original idea of this software was to develop a cheap tool for administrations to help them to manage their spectrum, they manage their frequencies, to help them to provide the licenses, to calculate interference, to uh, calculate the spectrum fee. We are providing not only the tool, but we are providing them in even assistance in the spectrum management procedures. We are sending the experts, we are helping them to develop their own spectrum management regime. The World Radio Communications Seminar also wrestled with our overcrowded space. Satellite numbers have multiplied drastically in the 50-odd years since Sputnik first winked its way across the sky. Space was once a new frontier for discovery. Now all the talks of parking slots, orbit allocations and interference. When I started this uh, uh, coordination business, uh, uh, some 30 years ago, it was uh, considered very complicated to find a solution for the separation in between the neighboring satellites of uh, four or six degrees. Now we are unfortunately to deal with the separation of half a degree. The requirements of the world to use the uh, space services are growing very, very quickly and uh, the problems of interferences are uh, becoming greater and greater. There are so many satellites because there is now such a demand for communication, not least mobile communication. The ITU has been doing a lot of work on the next step for this little fellow, the quantity and speed of information that will be flowing into our mobile phones is poised to explode. <music> We all know that 3G gives us broadband speech and data services, but the ITU has now given its seal of approval to the next generation of mobile broadband telecommunications, IMT Advanced.
IMT Advanced makes much more efficient use of the radio frequency spectrum. That means you can support more users, you can have much higher data rates, so that the broadband applications that we're starting to see now can be much more efficiently implemented. Systems that require uh, the full capacity of multimedia can really benefit from this. The ITU is also putting its weight behind emergency communications, so delegates at the seminar were briefed on what to do when disaster strikes and all lines and networks are down. The ITU has set up a database of frequencies to be used before and during emergency operations. Once uh, the teams are being moved to the theatre uh, of a disaster, they would uh, uh, consult with the ITU beforehand which are the available frequencies for that particular area and uh, would then uh, have a better coordination of the, the, the situation. I think the case of Haiti is a good example where there was a big uh, mass confusion on the use of frequencies and this uh, created a lot of obstacles. Preparations are already underway for the ITU's World Radio Communication Conference at the start of 2012. The hope is that participants will be now fully across all the agenda items for WRC 12 and better still, in a position to cram full with quality content their national radio spectrums.